Hey, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Hey, Transformers fans. Welcome to the first episode of Mixelpix Transformers Prime Time. So if you've been watching Mixelpix, then you might be familiar with uh, this pile right here. This is our uh, Transformers pile. Currently, you can see that it's got some uh, Constructicons on it. That's from the Jin Bao oversized version of the Generation Toy uh, G2 Devastator. And today we're gonna look at uh, some things that are in the pile, but aren't actually uh, Masterpiece characters. Um, they are Transformers Prime characters. I got into that cartoon and uh, I wanted some of the figures. So I've been collecting them and uh, we've got some to open. So if you've been watching my channel, you're probably familiar with this box pile right here. Um, it gets larger and it gets smaller and it gets larger. And it consists mostly of Masterpiece scale Transformers as well as offshoots of the Masterpiece scale Transformers like uh, the Jin Bao oversized Devastator Constructicons that I have right here. But today, we are gonna be looking at Transformers Prime characters. I got into this cartoon and uh, the character designs are cool. The characters themselves are really well done on the show. Um, and you know, isn't that really what makes you wanna collect the toys in the first place? Are the characters, the conflicts, uh, you know, the, uh, the drama. So uh, lots of good characters, good styles, and um, I thought having the toys to commemorate that would be pretty cool. So we're gonna be taking care of this little pile right here. One, two, three, four, five, and the little packet on top, that's six. And those are all Transformers Prime things. They're from eBay. Let's grab these boxes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So my current Transformers Prime collection consists of three characters, Starscream, Optimus Prime, and Wheeljack. So the Autobots are my favorite faction from this show. So I've been very focused on getting the Autobots. However, Starscream was the first one that I actually bought. And these have all been eBay buys. Package number one. Nothing in the hat. Voila! So as you can see, this is the Viacon, uh, one of the Decepticons. I found this before I found another buy on eBay, which gave me six characters in one buy, including the Viacon. So I'm gonna have to show you that package. So let's put this aside for now. Package number two. Okay, well this is a little bit of a bummer because uh, I bought this as a used buy. It was a really good price. Um, this is one of my favorite characters from Transformers Prime. Uh, it's smokescreen. And unfortunately, he came in pieces. But thankfully it looks like um, it's not gonna be difficult to put the leg back on. So probably not broken. There we go. All right, no harm, no foul. So yeah, Smokescreen is a very cool character from Transformers Prime, and I am glad to have this guy in my collection. However, um, his screen accuracy here, um, overall, I think it's pretty good, but um, the paint apps um, aren't really accurate to the cartoon. And uh, it looked like there was a better option available in the uh, Transformers Go line. So that's what I'm waiting for now is uh, the Transformers Go version of Smokescreen here. But uh, yeah, um, really cool likeness to the character. Um, although he's not necessarily as happy-go-lucky here as he is in the cartoon. 
but um, really cool figure. Um, as I have him in my hand, he, it, he looks really cool. He feels really cool in my hand. Good details, um, good variation in stylings. Uh, you know, got some shiny gray, dark gray plastic here for his feet and um, some nice hubs here. But uh, what I'm looking forward to is um, like the hubs that I have on Wheeljack is uh, the Transformers Go version actually has these uh, hubs metallicized. So it'll look a little bit uh, higher uh, production value. So right now this is looking very uh, cool from a molding standpoint, but uh, not necessarily from the actual uh, paint apps standpoint. So that's smokescreen. While I was just looking at him, he seems to be missing the missile that's supposed to go in the gun here. It's got this release trigger, so I think there really is supposed to be something in there. Uh, it still looks like a cool gun. Uh, I'm gonna check the packaging to see if it's just uh, got lost in the envelope. And unfortunately, I don't see it in here. I don't see it on the tabletop. It's definitely not in the bag, so um, that's all right. It was a used buy. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. Package number three. Oh boy, popcorn. Any guesses? Yeah, bulkhead. I don't know exactly why. I guess there's uh, too much stuffed in the back there for the lid to close, but, um, oh, that's cool. They even have it stamped there with the Autobot symbol. That's really awesome. So this was a used buy from eBay as well. And what caught my attention about this one is, number one, bulkhead is another one of my favorites from Transformers Prime. And um, he has, two maces. So um, I don't know if that was an extra that this owner put on him or if it actually comes with two, but all the other pictures that I saw, he was only brandishing one. So uh, I opted for this guy. Thank you to this eBayer. Um, I now have Bulkhead. Package number four. I'm not sure which one this is. Aha! I don't actually recall seeing Prowl on uh, Transformers Prime, but uh, he must have been there. I just missed him. Um, you know, there's so many episodes. But um, I saw a custom of this guy online. Somebody did a great custom based on the smokescreen mold. And that led me to finding this guy. So pretty cool. Cop and attitude right, right out of the package. And uh, looking pretty nice. So uh, uh, used, I believe. Yeah, used, opened, and repackaged. Um, but great, happy to have them. Package number five. This is so exciting. Oh, nice. Sometimes home packaging is better than professional packaging, for undoing anyway. The 
this guy. This guy right here. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? Look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. I gained an appreciation for Ultra Magnus because of Transformers Prime. Um, I never thought he was that great of a character in uh, G1. And I always thought the toy was pretty dumb. It was like, it's like, really? You're gonna resell us Optimus Prime with a different trailer and then he has to get into the trailer to become Ultra Magnus? So, you know, always seemed pretty lame to me. Yet, they've done it here again. This is basically Optimus Prime. And uh, they've made him into Ultra Magnus. So, some modifications to make him Ultra Magnus. And I'm okay with that. Uh, he's his own character. He's a little bit different than Prime. And um, I think he looks awesome. And there you go, there's the, uh, was it, the Solus Hammer? So he's got that. He wields that in the cartoon. It's really cool. Oh, one more thing. This is actually new. So got it on eBay and it's new. I love it. So awesome. And here it is, the final package, package number six. Looking very official in this official eBay box. Now, if you think back to the first package I unboxed, it was a Viacon. Now that Viacon I had purchased before I found this deal on eBay. This deal contains a Viacon plus five other individual Transformer Prime characters. If this is as good as it looked on eBay, I'm gonna have to kiss this seller's feet. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's like opening up a carton of brand new toys. I mean, this might as well just say Hasbro on the side. Look at that. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. We've got Cliff Jumper, but not just any Cliff Jumper, Terracon Cliff Jumper. Yes, unfortunately, Cliff Jumper gets uh, axed in this series as well. I didn't realize that was a tradition for him. Whoa, whoa, avalanche of Transformers. Okay. RC and Starscream. Now, I think this is the same Starscream that I have already. Yeah, I think the uh, weapons kind of show that. Let me get the other guy. So here is the used version I got of him. And he does have those uh, rocket packs of uh, three on each wing. And uh, coloration I think is the same here. So he's got the uh, cluster of, I don't know if you can really see it there very well, but three missiles. And he does look like it's the same Starscream. When I got this guy, I uh, really didn't know what I was buying. And um, I'm still unclear about all the choices that are out there as far as what each one is good for. But um, I am glad to have this guy in my collection and to see that it is the same as this one. Now, RC, she is a character that can uh, be hard to come by at least for uh, a cheaper price. So overall, this package deal was awesome. And I am glad to have the sole female Autobot in this show as part of my collection. And of course, the series would definitely not be complete in this day and age without Bumblebee himself. This guy is, you know, a lot of the characters are iconic. But Bumblebee, for some reason, just has uh, the heart of the world at the moment. He's scrappy, he's nice, but he's tough. And, um, you know, and people identify. So definitely glad to have this guy in my collection. Now, what I would like to see is the season two version of this, where they did the repaint on him. Um, that was a pretty cool uh, repaint.
cliff jumper. The real one. The non Terracon version. The, uh, the alive version. And just by circumstance, the Viacon is the last one in the bunch. So any questions I had about whether or not this was gonna turn out to be the package that uh, the eBay seller was saying it was um, have been obliterated because these are all awesome. Uh, they're all new. Not all the cards are pristine, but I'm not necessarily in it for the packaging. So um, if they're in good condition, that's great. Uh, but the characters are really what I want and I am gonna be opening these. So it's not like I'm worried about their uh, on-card value. I just wanna have them in my collection and I wanna display them. For me, collecting is about the hunt and it's about um, displaying and completing a collection. So if you've listened to Bobby Skullface, in one of his videos, he talked about the different kinds of collectors that are out there and uh, a completionist is one of them. As I've gotten into the Transformers Prime characters, I keep wanting to buy more. There aren't too many that I still need, I don't think, but uh, I would like to have a representation of at least most of the main characters. That rounds out this uh, series of unboxings from eBay. This was package number six and uh, turned out to be six great characters. As you can see, I netted a lot of characters uh, in these purchases and um, I'm very happy with what I got. I'm looking forward to what I'm gonna get in the future. I've got a Megatron uh, coming in, hopefully. Uh, bought it on eBay. And then I've got uh, an upgrade kit that I also bought for that Megatron. Hopefully it's a match. But for now, this is our lineup. And uh, thanks for joining me for this Mixelpix Transformers Prime Time. Until next time, happy collecting and stay prime, everybody.